from the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand maybe worlds. So we're working at a rate uh, that is really hard to comp comprehend. But one way you can do it, and a really fun way that I talk about in the book here, is a fellow who died not too long ago named Robert Anton Wilson. Anybody follow Anton Wilson at all? He's another scallywag philosopher. Uh, very interesting to look into. He, you can never tell, he was kind of like a Zen master in his talks where he was putting people on all the time. And he had to sort out, like an intelligence test, what's real and what isn't in this. But he used to talk about the acceleration of information as the jumping Jesus phenomena. <laughs> and the jumping Jesus phenomena was based upon the scientific work of a Russian uh, man named Verkovsky. And Verkovsky had come out of value of the total amount of information in the world at the time of Jesus' birth in 1 AD. And he said, there is X amount of information at this point coming in through the invention of fire and agriculture and writing and hieroglyphics and languages and, okay? I don't know how he did it, but he came up with a value and other people said, cool, I'll, I'll accept that value. Then he looked at how long did it take for that information to then double. It was 1,500 years. The next doubling took 250 years. The invention of the printing press. Bing. Exactly. And after that, it's been going quantum, doubling and doubling and doubling, faster and faster and faster. Anton Wilson said, well, Jesus, that's one Jesus. That's the amount of it. When we double it, that's two Jesus. <laughs> We're now at, and he was talking in 1978, 256 Jesus.